Doc had kind of talked about that he thought the defensive effort in the first quarter was awful. Um, I'm, I'm curious, how do you guys try to find – it was so good in Denver. How do you try to find that consistency on the defensive end, night in, night out? Just got to keep playing hard. That's, that's pretty much it. Got to get – whatever you do, defensively put some effort, try to cover for one another. Uh, I think it was a lot of possession that we uh, gave them some easy ones, some easy looks, and they punished us. Um, I think in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter, like we were like better. We were helping one another, uh, getting deflections, you know, pressuring the uh, the guy with the ball. Um, I think we did a better job in the second half. Obviously, like you want to play for 48 minutes. Uh, there's going to be times that you don't, but you got to keep on building that habit. You know, I think we're taking a step towards the right direction. You know, in Denver, that uh, we were good defensively. Uh, we didn't win the game, uh, but we were good. This time, today, at times, we were good also. Uh, we got to keep on building, keep on building, keep on coming together, keep on figuring out our offense, you know, our spacing, um, timings, when we cut, when we set screens, who who is our target. Um, and our defense is going to keep on coming, you know, game by game, game by game. Uh, I think we started the fourth quarter with six turnovers in a row, just as a team. Um, what do you see at the start of the fourth quarter that kind of led to that? We just got to take care of the ball. That's pretty much it. We got to take care of the ball. Uh, there's going to be times that we're going to turn the ball over, but like in the game that we are trailing, we are down by two, four, six, whatever the case might be. I don't remember. At that time, what it was. Uh, we got to do a better job, take care of the ball. If somebody's being pressured, we got to go out there, set a screen, get him open. You know, uh, when you when you ask for the ball, you got to make sure you hold your man, get the ball. Like we got to do a better job, just take care of the ball and getting the shot up. You know, those six possessions probably cost the game. You know, if we had scored in two of those possession, maybe we'll, we'll have won the game. Who knows? Uh, Doc liked the screen you set for Dame on the side sideline out of bounds with 17 seconds left. It was the one where he was doubled and kicked it to Brooke. Um, what have you liked about your screen setting maybe these last two games, and what are you looking for forward going forward, especially because you're talking about, like, hey, maybe the two-man game with Damian is, is going to need to be improved and, and worked on? So I just got to do my job. Much it. That's what I get paid for. Do my job. You know. Um, Is there a focus there, though, like in terms of how you do it, and, and maybe whether it be staying a little longer or reading his it, angles? Yeah, there is. Sometimes when they blitz him, you don't even need to set it. You know, they're so focused on him that you can just get out and get the ball in the pocket and try to create open three for somebody or an easy one. But like in a position like that, you just got, in my opinion, you got to set it to force the switch and have the guy chase him, which they did, they chased him over. But, um, you know, Aiden did a great play, uh, kind of, you know, took a step up and doubled him the, the last uh, pick and roll with uh, Brooke. But Brooke was wide open. You know, Brooke was wide open. Uh, we got a nice look. So, you know, everything starts, everything starts from the setup, you know, uh, from the screen, from them being a threat, from me rolling hard to take a player with me uh, for Brooke to be open. Your team was talking a lot about how communication just needed to be more and more tonight. How do you see communication improving with this team? Like, what does that look like from your perspective? Try to be as vocal as possible. Uh, talk to my teammate, uh, listen. You know, when they, uh, when they tell me stuff, uh, when they want me to be in a position that they <laughs> think can help the team. Listen to the coach staff. It's it's new, new new rules, uh, new game plan. You know, trying to you know just keep my eyes and my ears open as much as possible. Try to uh, understand you know what we are trying to accomplish here. I think uh, the more I understand it, the more I buy into it, the more I can execute it in the best of my ability. Uh, so as I said, listen. Uh, and if I see something, I just try to be vocal. You know, try to help help my teammates the best of my ability. Was it hard to lock in for this game, or did it take a while to settle in with just all the tribute videos and the people going crazy for Dame and stuff? Uh, no, no, not necessarily. You know, obviously, um, you know, this is why we play the game. Uh, Dame, Dame has been 
this is why we play the game. Dima has been um, here for 11 years. He literally built this house uh, from the from as far as as I can remember. From the first moment I came to the league, you know, coming to Portland, you had to go through you had to go through Dame in order for you to get a win here. Yeah, it was very very hard. There's some place in the NBA uh, you can ask other players that it's hard to get a win, and I think Portland was always one of those places. You know, uh, just from the the way he played, the energy he played, the way he carried himself, uh, the way he led his teammate. Uh, seeing something like that, you know, coming out for for a warm up, and then you see like a standing ovation for him. And you know, when they called his name, and people, you know, uh, showed, showed appreciation and love. You know, it's it, it's big. You know, uh, sometimes you go through every single day. You you do your job, go back home, you come again. You do your job, you play a game. You know, uh, every day goes by. And sometimes, you know, uh, people don't really show appreciation. And being able to see uh, my teammate to get that kind of love, that kind of appreciation in the in, in the city that he literally built. You know, uh, you know, is that's why we play the game of basketball. And I'm, you know, very very happy for him. Uh, and I know that he was he was happy. Uh, but yeah, again, to answer your question, I wasn't. I wasn't looking at the tribute. I was trying to focus in the game as much as I can. But man, everything that comes this guy away from the from the court that he got yesterday, the Adidas court, uh, the first Adidas a- athlete to ever have his own court um, from coming to Portland, and uh, you know, people show him love. You know, he 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 deserves it, man. He he, he earned every every single thing that's coming his way. Now we just gotta finish the last thing that he wants, and I want, and the whole group here want. We want to be the last team standing, you know. Uh, but we gotta, we gotta work. We gotta. It's enough talking. We gotta work. Uh, that inbounds play to end, end the game. I think you guys are up or down three. Excuse me, five seconds left. I think that was the same play you guys ran against Sacramento late. Yes. Um, what was the thought process there? Did you think you were gonna get fouled or what? No. Uh, no. Um, you just gotta. I don't want really want to talk about the play because I think we're going to be in a situation like that in the future that we're going to have to run the play. But um, there's options. Uh, for me, the first option is for me to get the ball, try to make something happen. Um, but they were smart to foul before I was able to make something happen. Um, you know, try to figure out if somebody make a mistake and you know come in so I could keep for a three or for like a trail three with Brooke, you know. Um, but again, in a situation like that, the most important thing, like you have to find the, the guy that can thrive in those moments. And Dame is one of those guys. Um, I don't want to talk in details about the play, but like there's more options. There's th- the first option is for me to get the ball, try to make something happen. And there's the second option, and then there's the third option to that play.